Pythons and anacondas are no doubt the greatest snakes in the world. Some people think that anaconda and python are one and the same. However, anacondas and pythons belong to two different families of snakes. Anacondas belong to the boa family and are found in South America and the Amazon basin. A python belongs to the family Pythonidae. It prowls in thick and dense forests in South Asia, Southeast Asia, and Sub-Saharan Africa. Anaconda is the heaviest and the biggest snake in the world. On the other hand, the python is no doubt the longest snake in the world. Many people want to know who would win if they ever encounter each other. To know the winner of this duel, we'll look into the different traits of these animals in detail. Before we begin, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. With that being said, let's begin. Description One of the largest snakes in the world, the green anaconda can reach impressive proportions. Over 30 feet, 9.1 meters in length, 12 inches, 30.5 centimeters in diameter, and more than 550 pounds, 250 kilograms. Unlike many animals, female anacondas are considerably larger than their male counterparts. The green anaconda is dark green in color, with black oval patches on its back. This pattern blends in with the wet, dense vegetation of its habitat. The sides have similar spots, with yellow centers. The scales on the underside of the tail have a particular pattern, which is unique to each snake. It's a form of identification, like a human fingerprint. The eyes and nostrils are on the top of the head, enabling the anaconda to breathe and to see its prey while its body lays submerged underwater. They can stay completely submerged for 10 minutes. While they are agile swimmers, they sometimes prefer to let the river's current carry them downstream with only their nostrils above the surface. Reticulated pythons have complex geometric skin patterns. The name refers to the net-like appearance of bold, dark, oval, or triangular markings on a lighter yellowish or brown background. These are flanked by smaller markings with light centers. The skin is iridescent. A black line extends over the head from the nose to the neck, and another on each side from the eye to the angle of the mouth. The underparts are mostly yellowish with small brown spots on the sides. This is a very large snake. Its potential length is longer than any other species of snake. They are sexually dimorphic in size. Females are larger than males. The average body length and average body mass of the reticulated python are 4.8 meters, 15.8 feet, and 170 kilograms, 375 pounds, respectively. Some individuals have reached lengths of 9 meters. 29.5 feet and weight of 270 kilos, 600 pounds. Range and Habitat The anaconda lives over a vast area of tropical river systems and swamps in South America, east of the Andes. This hot, humid region with its dense foliage offers excellent habitat for such a large snake, which fits well into this world. The anaconda likes to be in or near water, and spends a large part of its time in the murky waters that help it to hide, as well as support its tremendous body. Reticulated pythons live throughout the Malaysian Peninsula, Southeast Asia, and the islands of the Philippines and Indonesia. They love to make their homes in rainforests, woodlands, and grasslands, and in the past were commonly found in even the busiest parts of Bangkok. In fact, Reticulated pythons were regularly known for eating birds, cats, dogs, chickens, sheep, pigs, and other domestic animals. There have even been rare cases of pythons entering the huts of villagers and eating small children, but these are few and far between. Diet and Behavior The anaconda diet includes deer, wild pigs, birds, and large rodents, and also aquatic animals such as fish and reptiles. Anacondas swim well and kill their prey by strangling them. If that does not work, they drown them. These snakes can survive years without eating. Anacondas also typically feed on tapirs, capybaras, peccaries, turtles, sheep, and dogs. They have been known to occasionally prey on jaguars. Anacondas swallow their prey whole, starting with the head. This is so the legs fold up and the prey goes down smoothly. 
The anaconda can swallow prey much bigger than the size of its mouth, since its jaw can unhinge and the jaw bones are loosely connected to the skull. While the snake eats, its muscles have wave-like contractions, crushing the prey even further and surging it downward with each bite. Anacondas are readily adaptable to changes in their environment. Such adaptability is useful during the annual dry season of seasonally flooded savannas. To survive, the anacondas that live in these areas must either find water or bury themselves in mud. In the latter case, they will undergo a state of dormancy for the duration of the dry period. Green anacondas are most active in the early evening. They can move large distances over short periods, especially during annual dry seasons and when males are seeking females. They preferentially migrate during cooler hours after the peak heat of the day. Levels of predation pressure are typically based upon the size and health of an individual snake. Juveniles and small adult anacondas experience high mortality rates as they are subject to predation by larger predators. There have been accounts of caiman and jaguars preying on younger male snakes. As a result, small anacondas are extremely aggressive and bite frequently. Environmental pressures can also influence levels of predation. A savannah-dwelling anacondas experience increased predation during the dry season. Large anacondas, especially those that are females, experience lower rates of predation than their smaller counterparts. Female green anacondas will frequently cannibalize males, usually during breeding aggregations. Anacondas are a source of many myths that exaggerate their size and attacks on humans. Reports of giant constrictors actually killing and eating humans are quite rare. Reticulated pythons are carnivores. Their natural diet includes mammals and occasionally birds. Small pythons eat mainly rodents such as rats, whereas larger individuals switch to prey such as small Indian civets, primates, and pigs. Reticulated pythons are solitary creatures that are active throughout the night. Adult pythons are terrestrial and are rarely seen in trees, while juveniles spend their time both in trees and on the ground. Reticulated pythons are slow-moving snakes, but are excellent swimmers. They can often be seen hanging around the bodies of water as they find the best location for hunting their prey, which comes to the water to drink. Reticulated pythons are ambush hunters, usually waiting until their prey wanders within strike range before seizing it in their coils and killing by constriction. They are very aggressive creatures and if disturbed, will make a hissing sound. Predation on reticulated pythons by other organisms is nearly non-existent because of their large size. Python eggs and newly hatched pythons are at risk from predators such as birds, hawks, eagles, herons, and small mammals. However, the predation on adult pythons is very scarce and limited to crocodiles and other large predators. Pythons are only at a high risk of predation near the edges of bodies of water, where crocodiles might be waiting to attack. The only defense against predators, besides size, is a powerful constriction by the snake's body, which can literally squeeze the life out of an organism in around 3-4 to four minutes. Though this species poses a potential danger to humans, humans also pose a danger to the snake. Because of their immense size and ability to kill humans, people hunt them. They slay the snakes for their skin, meat, and try to use them in traditional medicine. People also capture the species for the exotic pet trade. Who would win if the green anaconda and the reticulated python would fight? It's a very tough question to answer. Which one is going to win the fight when these two giant snakes will meet each other? Anaconda is aquatic and lives in marshes, swamps, and rivers. It can swim very well. The anaconda's eyes are located on the top of its head. This allows the snake to see prey while submerged in the water. Meanwhile, the python loves to perch on trees and stay on drier land. This snake can see in the dark. That is why it can ambush helpless mammals and birds at night. The anaconda bites its prey and drowns the poor creature in the water. The python, on the other hand, constricts and crushes animals before eating them. As far as stats are concerned, both snakes have the same ability and power. One is the longest and another is the heaviest, but according to snake experts, we have a conclusion that the heaviest animal and reptiles always have the upper hand over his opponent. So in that case, green anaconda will swallow reticulated python if they will meet each other.
That's all for today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.